Hello everyone and welcome to this demo slash build guide for the Cadet Throttle module. I don't have a ton of experience making these types of videos so hopefully everything is pretty clear. The main purpose for this build was to produce a low cost alternative for casual flight sim players like myself who may not have a ton of money to dump into the hobby but we really want to have a more physical experience. If you look at a lot of the popular models that are out on the market right now, they're either sold out because of the popularity of Flight Sim 2020, or they're really expensive for what they are. Um, I find it's just cheap plastic and a few electronic parts, and I was like, I think I can make this in my office. So for this build, I tried to incorporate as many of the real mechanical features as I could without driving up the price of the build. This is push buttons that actually work and allow you to have fine adjustment and the little tightening collar on our throttle actually works to stiffen it. So keep in mind that this entire build is open and free and really the only thing I want from it is to see other people making it or modifying my project. Um, I really think the jewels of this project are the, the control knobs here and they can be easily repurposed for other panels or other projects. They just use a 15 millimeter mounting hole and you'll need a way to mount uh, the linear potentiometers in the back. Um, the readme in the Arduino link is gonna contain helpful diagrams, the complete uh, bill of materials for this module. Please, please, please check it out. It's less questions that I really need to answer. Um, and one more thing, if you enjoy this build, please consider checking out my yoke build, which I did about a month ago. Um, and it'll make a few appearances in this video working alongside the throttle, uh, the throttle module to control the flight simulator. So without further ado, let's get to the build guide. So you'll start by sanding your inner tube. You can use either a lathe or a cheap power drill like I did and just sand it until it's fairly smooth. You want it to be able to move in and out of the straw pretty easily. So if you look here, there's no resistance. I'm putting it in and it's able to move freely. This is gonna be very important. Next, select an eighth inch drill bit. Next, you'll want to record 104 millimeters from the front side of the straw, which I've marked with an arrow, and mark that with a little dot. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Make sure not to use a ton of pressure. You just wanna remove a little bit of metal at a time. If you use too much pressure, you'll distort the straw. Otherwise, you should get a nice mostly clean hole. Take a moment to file that, get all the little rough edges out, and make sure that your ball bearing can move freely. Next, double check that your inner tube lines up with your hole. You should be good to go. The last step, you're gonna measure 190, 19 centimeters, and chop that off. And so you're going to need two straws that have holes like this and one straw that is just 190 millimeters, 19 centimeters. So since it is press fit, I'm going to measure how deep the inner tube goes into our push button. And then I'm going to repeat the sanding process, but not hitting that end because it's a nice press fit. I'll put a drop of glue in there to make sure it doesn't move and then press it in there. So disregard the background here, this was an old prototype, but this is when you're going to attach the spring, insert the inner tube, and make sure that little gap lines up with your hole. When you push the button, you should see the gap. We're going to install all of the nuts into our brace. You might need to use a clamp or something to push them in there, because they are press fit. So next I'm going to install the linear potentiometers. They should just 
slide right in and then you can secure them in place with three millimeter bolts. Next, this is just a time lapse of putting the wiring together. As you can see, I wire it according to the wiring matrix. You can find all of that information on the Arduino page. I used a lot of cable management. You don't have to do this, but I think it makes it look, the final product look really nice. So then you can use some needle nose pliers to break those printed joints free. So on the throttle, you'll install the tightening collar in the nut, and then you can slide them through, and this will allow you to attach it. Then before you tighten it, attach that end cap. and then fix it to the linear potentiometer. You should notice that it moves freely and I'll attach the nut. Similar process, we'll put the nut on the rod. We'll slide it through the hole. We'll add the sheath. I'm going to press the end cap on and now we need to add that ball bearing. Don't forget this step or you'll be taking it back apart to add it later. So when you add that ball bearing, make sure you push the button so that it falls into that little slot of the inner tube. And that's how the whole mechanism works. The ball is pushed out into a thread on the inside of the sheath, and that allows you to have the fine adjustment control and also push the button to pull it out. And lastly, here are some of the basic controls mapped within Flight Sim 2020.